Hey guys, so today I will be showing you guys how to do your foundation, um, well, full face of foundation. So if you would like to watch how I do my foundation, keep watching. <laughs> and if you would like to continue on watching my videos, please subscribe. So I go ahead and go in with the Cetaphil Oil Control Moisturizer. I actually just changed my face lotion and I'm honestly loving it. Um, so I put that all over my face. I already have lotion on my face because I put that before I start my shadow. And then I go in with the Angel Veil by NYX, which it's a primer. And I just dot it everywhere. And then I go with, and I believe this is um, like the lightest color they have. It's like light. And then I just put that on my blemishes. And I like to go in with a green concealer. I believe this is by Maybelline. And this is just like regular green. And then the ones that stand out the most, it's where I like to go in. And then, of course, just rub it in. This is, of course, if you want that full coverage. And then for my under eyes, I just used a little bit of yellow concealer. Just to kind of like neutralize the dark circles. <laughs> As you can see, it doesn't really hide them much. But you could only do what you could do, right? <laughs> and then, of course, I just go with my MAC Longwear Foundation in NC40. And I just, you know, put it on my finger. I go in with my BH Cosmetics 109 brush and I just blend it. So you go under your neck. And then you go in with a sponge. And then you just dab it or press it onto your skin. Of course, for the under circles or dark circles, I just put in a little extra. So once you have your foundation on, I go in with my Studio Fix for Mac, the powder one, the Studio Mac Fix powder. My MAC Studio Fix Powder in NC30, I believe this is. And I just use a BH Cosmetics 108 brush. And I just kind of swirl it all over here. And I just put it all over my face. And this is to mattify your foundation. Since I am an oily prone skin. And then, um, like a blending brush is really like long on the tip. And again, I go in with the same MAC Studio Fix powder. And I just put it all over under my eye just to conceal those dark circles a little better. Once I have my foundation on, I like to go in with my controlling. My controlling. Okay. 
Um, for contouring, I didn't really grab like a really dark shade. I don't know. It really depends on your preference. I like my contour to be a little bit like more natural. So I just went in with something that's kind of like brown but not too dark of a brown. And then I go with my Morphe E8 brush and then I bring it up but I'm also doing circles as I'm bringing it up. And you want to make sure you bring it up here. Then I go and with my Becca and Jacqueline Hill Champagne Pop Palette. Oh, this is Champagne Pop Palette. Champagne Collection face palette I go with my morphe 510 um, brush and I just mix this one and this one and I just add it till I can't shine no more I didn't put it on my nose yet because I know some people want to contour their nose so I don't contour it too often I only do it very randomly. I'll do it today for you guys though. So I just do a little right here and then the tip of my nose. That's only because of my type of nose. Like I just want to make it smaller here and on the tip um, because this part's already like kind of small. I don't know. I like that part of my nose. I actually like the way my nose is, but just for contouring purposes if people want it and then I go in with my BH Cosmetics 111 it's just a regular foundation brush and I bring it up all the way to my nose same thing with the other side and then this part right here and then you want to make sure it's really blended so Do it a couple of times. I also like to go in with a sponge that I used a second ago. Just tap a little bit and then you add your highlight. So you get a small nose. Let me just add a little more. And then for um, my blush, I use the Milani Powder Blush in T Rose. Um, and then I use my BH Cosmetics 110 brush. And I just. I personally don't um, contour any other parts of my face because I already have a kind of small forehead so I don't feel like I need to make that smaller than it is that would be just kind of weird having a super small forehead thank you guys so much for watching and if you would like to continue on watching my videos please subscribe and um yeah Thanks for sticking around.